Hi, this is Glenn Hughes and you're watching Rock and Live. You know, the album was, was made, uh, sorry, the album was written um, primarily at my home in last November through March. The consensus of the album this time around was that I would write most of the music as I have become, if you will, the, the, the main songwriter of the band, uh, chosen by the band. Yeah. And, and it really is, and at this time in my life, the core of what I like to do the most is write songs. And um, originally this album was going to be a solo album. I was going to take a year away from Black Country just to take a break. And, and, and then Kevin Shirley asked me, suggested to me, let's do another album uh, before you do that. So some of the songs on, on this album would have been on a Glenn Hughes album. And I want to make it very clear that anything I do, in, if I do anything, recording wise from this point it's probably going to be a, a, a rock hard rock platform mm. not so much of the groovy funky black stuff that I really also like but uh, I've been given a wonderful platform in black country to to make um, rock music Well, you okay. know, I met Joe five years ago, I met Derek 25 years ago, I met Jason 40 years ago when he was a young boy, I met him, John Bonham was one of my best friends, so, so you know, the band came together, together about two and a half years ago um, uh, by accident. I, I did a gig with Joe in, in, in LA and um, the audience, Joe's blues audience and my rock audience figured it would be a good match. Um, and then, you know, Derek, uh, sorry, Kevin suggested that Derek and Jason come down mm -hmm. and that would have been three, six weeks later. And, and in that time I had written six songs. And that's how the group started. The group started from ideas uh, and, and uh, I went down to Brazil to write most of the first album. I, I don't know why I went there. I just had some free time. I, 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 I tried to go to different locations to write the music to give me inspiration. The writing on pretty much all the albums is coming from my home studio. The band don't really get to listen to the songs until the day of recording. Now that sounds very strange. Most bands that I've been in or most mus music I've made has gone through three stages. The writing, the pre-production, the rehearsal, and the recording. With Black Country it's the writing, and recording. There's no, no pre-production and there's no rehearsal. <laughs> uh, it's the way Kevin Shirley likes to do it and I think it's a great way. It works for him, it works for this band, uh, but I must say that this band is somewhat special because it is a band that is extremely talented musically yeah. and a band that gels almost immediately. It's it instinctive. Instinctive and spontaneous. Yes. And somewhat combative. Um, there are different personalities within the group. I remember, Joe is really a blues guitar player. And a wonderful guitar yeah. player. And I am really a rock guy. Okay. And when you marry those two things, that is the 
essence of black country. And of course with Derek being a virtuoso and Jason being a Bonham, and let's be clear, you know, the John Bonham was the greatest drummer in rock. And his son was taught wonderfully by his father. Mm. You know, when I when I think of Britain, I think of London being the birthplace of the Rolling Stones and the Who and Pink Floyd and Yes. And when I think of Manchester, you you, you automatically think of o Oasis and 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 that that kind of scene, you know. Mm. And when I think of Liverpool, you think of the Beatles, you know, uh, the birthplace of uh, popular rock music as mm. we know it. And when I think of Ireland, I think of the wonderful U2. And when I think of the middle of England, which is the black country, I think of uh, Zeppelin, Half of Deep Purple, uh, Trapeze, my band, uh, Black Sabbath, uh, Judas Priest. I think of it being the birthplace of rock, hard rock music. So I wanted to call the name black country after the name of the county or suburb which I was raised in along with Jason and Robert Plant and John Bonham. Uh, Robert being a, although it's not in our group, he's definitely a big part of, uh, of our family being uh, a black country man. So um, we, we have a little roots in the Zeppelin thing because of John and Jason, but um, uh, it's it's very much a, 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 a black country to me is it is a band that that I genuinely care about people call me the leader of the band only because I spend more time writing and getting visuals together and artwork and and talking to you about the band yeah. um, uh, it's it's it most definitely is a group but I would put myself as the flag bearer, if you will, um, as I really genuinely care for rock music and black country communion. Okay. With your mind and body well, now you're living in a typhoon. You better check your health, I see the rising of the black moon. The man, the man in the middle. You know, w w we are going to tour. Um, uh, I don't know when. Um, there's been long uh, discussions and, and rumors about touring, but I want to make it very clear that that, that um, in my eye, eyes that the band should tour. Uh, I believe we will tour. Um, the speculation, you know, people talk about, you know, will they tour, will they want tour. We really, really hope to tour. Yeah. We want to play this album live. Yeah. I think everybody in the band wants to tour and everybody wants to see the band. We have a lot of fans that haven't seen the band and as the guy that sp in speaks on behalf of the band, I have to be very careful. But it, in my eyes, uh, I really do really want this band to tour, so we have to, we have to wait and hope. Yeah, you know, Mike, you're looking at someone that's been doing this for a long, 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 long time, that has been given a wonderful, wonderful reason to live. Uh, I think anybody that expresses themselves within the art form of uh, painting or dance, music or poetry or, mm -hmm. or you know, or soccer or anything to do with uh, uh, the art uh, is is very truly blessed. I think every human being has got a certain gift. Some some of us don't even know what that is until you know we get older. Um, I stumbled into being a bass player. I stumbled into being a singer. Mm -hmm. uh, I stumbled into being a front man, and um, and now I've really not stumbled, but I've really really want to be remembered as a songwriter. Yeah, you know, uh, some of the friends of mine in the last twenty years have said. 
great singers have, have said, I, you know, I want to be remembered more for my songs. I, I, I understand that, mm -hmm. you know. I really do enjoy singing music and, and rock music. I've been very, very blessed to have a, a, a wide range. And um, when I sing, I'm completely free, and to be free is the most important thing. But to have the freedom to write music is really, really special, especially on Afterglow. If, if, if the fans or, or friends of the band can listen to the album and, and, and get an idea of where we're going. The first album was different to the second one, and any, anyone that knows me knows I never repeat myself on an album. I, I, I like to, to do something new and interesting on each album. Deep Purple is, is a band I was in, uh, Deep Purple Mark III and Mark IV. Um, I was, um, someone suggested that Deep Purple Overseas uh, owner, Drew Thompson, also a partner of mine, came to me three years ago with the idea uh, it was going to be 40 years of since Machine Head and do you want to be a part of it? And I said, well, I'm not sure if I want to be a part of it, but let me help you get um, some bands. Uh, and I, I figured that um, Lars Ulrich was a huge Deep Purple fan, and, I, and I, I know the guys in Maiden, so we contacted those guys, and we got those guys involved. And then I got I got um, Chad involved from Chicken Foot, and and then you know, lo and behold, I'm having dinner with Chad at Christmas, and he said, we really got to do. A song on, on uh, the album and I said okay what's left? Uh, you've done Highway Star and Metallica have done uh, When a Blind Man Cries and, and Maiden have done Space Trucking. So we decided on doing uh, Maybe I'm a Leo because it had a certain groove that would probably tend to suit my style and I said let's cut it as a trio more Hendrixy, if you will and leave the John Lord instrument out because uh, y you can't really duplicate John Lord because he's such an insane keyboard player. So I recorded it live with, with my guitar player Luis Maldonado and mm. Chad in Los Angeles in January and it took 20 minutes, we did it live, no overdubs and it was like wow. But all, also at the same time because we were, we were so quick Chad and I were jamming Highway Star as, yeah. as a duo, as bass and drums. So we laid a track down of Highway Star for no, no reason at all. We just thought, we just have it down. So when John died, uh, I got off the plane in, in LA and, and um, I got a call from Drew Thompson to tell me John had died. And he said, what do you think about doing a tribute to John now, like tomorrow, uh, of doing... Um, Highway Star, uh, a, a studio version, and I said, "Yeah, well, let's call Steve I, my friend Steve I. We we love Steve I." And Steve went in the studio and, and recorded like twenty guitar overdubs on Highway Star, and I went and sang it the next day, and and just simply because a tribute to John, a, a wonderful, talented human mm -hmm. being, mm -hmm. who we all genuinely miss. So there are new. T Two versions on Machine Head Tribute, uh, Highway Star, Chicken Foot Live, and Chad and Glenna and um, Steve Vai Studio. Okay. You're a rock and roll star with a killer condition. You talk so cheap and I heard it on the grapevine. You better so watch a river, you'll be walking on a flat line. You know, I like to think of myself as someone that is, is um, accountable for and, and to wor work when he wants to work. Um, I'm doing more these days because I'm, I'm, I feel good and I want to share music with other people and I want to do as much as I can while I still can. Um, rock and roll is along it's been going since I was born and and it's still here now and, and I, I just want to
be part of the movement of, of rock music and to see it develop into new areas and to work with younger artists is very important for me. I do. Something that I'm working on in Los Angeles that, that will remain a secret for some time until we uh, announce that. Uh, something I can say that will be wonderful. Uh, so we will wait for an announcement. But um, Black Country Community will con continue to work yeah. um, and hopefully tour. Uh, and meanwhile, I will work on my secret project, mm -hmm. which we will find out uh, around about Christmas time. Yeah. Um, and um, all I want to do is play live music and and play all over the world and, and, and um, play to rock fans. Love my French fans. I mean, I, it's a what a wonderful country. I've been coming here for so long. A lot of friends here, and it's great to play here. I don't play here a lot, but uh, when I do, it's uh, great to see so many people come out to see me play. Um, uh, I do love this country, uh, and uh, I shall be back. We just make music we like.